this is the rumor train. Welcome back to the rumor train and it's time to stop the rumor train on what's happening on Center Street in beautiful downtown St. Thomas. So we want to let you know that we are going to see over the next number of years a continuation of this current construction where we've got this lovely pedestrian and bicycle lane here along the side um, as well as uh, vehicle traffic on the other side and uh, the reason for this is we don't have bike lanes on Talbot Street because it's such a narrow street and wanted to make sure we could still have that uh, pedestrian and uh, traffic uh, from bicycles downtown so we're going to continue this project all the way down Center Street there's some great plans um, mm -hmm. that the city has that uh, were available during budget session last year so we know that uh, those are still on the city website you can have a peek at those and uh, and make sure you uh, figure out where you're gonna park from now on because if you do park on the north side of Center Street over the next five years it's gone here we are at the corner of Moore and Center Street looking at what is soon to be a brand new retirement residence in downtown St. Thomas Rumors are circulating as to whether it's affordable seniors housing, whether it's assisted living, full care living, or exactly what it is. Well, we're going to put the rumor to rest so you know what we're getting. Heather? It is um, a private investment, a uh, major investment in our downtown. We haven't seen something like this from private investment in a very long time. Um, but it is uh, high-end senior retirement living. Uh, we've got on the outside, they, they're building some uh, townhouses. So the idea would be uh, you could start to uh, move into those to begin with and then eventually move into the main building. Um, and even in the, the townhouses along the side, um, they have the option of going in to the main building for meals. So you don't even have to cook your own meals. Uh, but there will be a memory care unit in there as well. Um, it will be for full service um, retirement care. Um, and you can start, uh, yet, as I said, in the, in the condos and then move and in as, as you need. Mm -hmm. The developer is not from the area, but is a $35 million private investment. And the developer is known for building luxury uh, retirement living facilities. So certainly, definitely a, a great addition to our downtown. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of you must have been just as shocked as I was to hear the rumor about the Horton Farmers Market. Dan. I was shocked when I read about it. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. So we had to get to the, the bottom of it. And what is actually happening is not a contract for demolition, but contract to fix the parking lot. And uh, and uh, we can tell it's desperately needed. Lots of uh, yeah, watch lots where of you walk. yeah. That, thanks. <laughs> Let's not fall into the pothole. Uh, but it's definitely needed, and we know how busy uh, the market gets all spring, summer, fall, and uh, it's certainly going to be uh, certainly be a welcome addition and uh, a huge relief for all of us knowing that uh, the market's not going anywhere. An excellent capital expenditure. I by, think it by is the city for definitely sure. a great capital expense. Yep. There you have it, there's the truth. We are on William Street, the corner of William and Talbot, and we're overlooking a brand new construction project, which we have heard many rumors about. Many rumors. We have heard it's going to be a casino. We have heard it's going to be a brand new meth clinic. We've heard it's going to be an office building. Who's the other one you heard? Uh, housing. Housing. Housing is always, because we know housing is in, in huge demand in the city. Yeah. Housing is always, I think, at the top of the list. Uh, but certainly lots of rumors floating about this uh, this big site behind us and what's really going on as well. It's not just this, this piece on the corner, but there's the crater as the well crater. in the middle. And people are wondering if that's our new landfill. In which we do need a new landfill. We, we will, yeah, yeah. eventually. So, eventually. Uh, you know, we're going to have to sort this out because there's there's way too many rumors about this. And this is this is a, a good good corner in the, in the downtown. Lots going on. We want to make sure everybody knows what's happening. We brought the rumor train downtown to the Talbot Street in front of City Hall. And we're here because tonight City Council will be making a vote as to whether or not St. Thomas will opt in or opt out of cannabis retail. Lots of rumors around that. Uh, one rumor being that if the city does opt in, they get a big grant from the province uh, to use towards medical care and social issue care and, and policing. Uh, however, there's also the rumor that because of the population size of St. Thomas, we may not be able to retail anyways, regardless of what, this, of what city council decides. So one of the rumors that goes along with whether or not the city will opt in or opt out is where will these uh, cannabis locations be located, these retail locations. And of course, they can be anywhere that isn't 150 meters within, uh, within the area of a school. And of course, that opens up our downtown area. 
So we could have a cannabis dispensary right on Talbot Street, right across from City Hall. And or your favorite coffee shop, for exactly. that matter. And, and the rumors, one of the many rumors floating around, of course, is this store, Bad Fish Vapor Company, right across the street from City Hall. The rumor is that they're going to become a dispensary. So I think we need to derail this rumor. For sure. The door is locked. What's going on? Why the can't we get center, in? The art center is closed. Which goes along with the rumor that we heard that the St. Thomas Public Arts Center is shutting down because it's not getting city funding as it has relied upon for the last 45 20, 30, years. 40 years. Yeah. It'll be a sad day in St. Thomas if City Council does not deem the Arts Center worthy of public funding. Definitely a sad day indeed. And tell me, what would happen to our permanent collection and other amazing pieces in this building? The collection from the St. Thomas Art Centre will be shipped to London and will form part of the permanent collection for the London Historical Museum. No longer to be seen in St. Thomas or Elgin County. Wow, sad day. We better find the truth on this rumor. Stay tuned.